Artist Series. Sarah Roy is the publicist for uh, the Artist Series, and she's here to talk to us today about what's happening through up until New Year's Eve, yeah? Yes, we have lots of great things going on. Um, we just kicked off our 48th season, so we've already had a few shows. Is that 48 years? Or? Yes, 48 years. So um, wow. we have been around for a while. Um, and our executive director, Dr. Milt Russes, just does such a great job of bringing uh, such a diversity of shows to really appeal to all ages and all tastes here in Northeast Florida. And it's so. grown over the past couple of years since you've been there. Like the expanded offerings, you guys are doing stuff at the Wilson Center and yeah. smaller things? Yeah, we have, uh, most of our shows are at the Times Union Center um, in the Moran Theater, but the past few years we've had shows in the Jacoby Hall and the Terry Theater, and it kind of just depends on the season. Every season we have such a different array of shows that it depends on what makes the most sense for a venue. You know, um, two of the like hallmark things that I did last year, um, I went with my sister to see Le Miz. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, crying the entire time. Yeah, that and was it was amazing. the remounted one. Yes, yeah, so it was a 25th anniversary production. So there were some major changes. Um, those visuals of Hugo's artwork just posted on there. The tunnel was really cool. I loved that. Yeah, and, and those things probably would not come to this community but for the Artist Series. Right, we are the major presenter, the only presenter of um, Broadway shows, touring Broadway shows here in Northeast Florida. And Wicked, Wicked, oh my God. Wow, and that was sold out, wasn't it? Um, you know, sold out is always tricky because it is such a huge venue, the Moran Theater. We have about 2,800 seats to fill and Wicked was here for three weeks. So there were a lot of performances. Uh, what I love about Wicked is the following of I mean, people are just obsessed with that show, and I totally understand why I saw it four times myself, but um, the lottery aspect of that is really fun. And so, I mean, I had even some of my media contacts come, I mean, like pay to come 15 times out of the 24 performances. It's amazing. It's now, really fun. You, you actually do this really cool meetup group with yeah. the theater community. So it's not yeah. just, I mean, you're the publicist, but then you're actually kind of immersed in the community that does theater. Yes, uh, right now our Jacksonville Theater Lovers Meetup group is strictly with our productions just because since we're the presenter we can negotiate um, some discounts and some fun extras like, you know, post-show meet and greets with the cast or uh, sign posters or stuff like that. But we have, I think we're right at around 350 members, which is really fun. Uh, we really love getting people into the theater for the first time, and that's really what most of our members are. It's either people who know that they love theater and have a hard time getting people to come with them, um, or they haven't been ever. Maybe they're new to town and they found us and they're looking for something fun to do and really get involved in the cultural offerings that we have here, get involved in theater, so we're How do you really sign up for that? It. Like, you know, I'm, I've, pretend I've never been to the theater before, and I'm like, mm -hmm. God, the meetup group, that sounds good. How do I do that? Yeah, meetup.com, and then mm -hmm. our group is the Jacksonville Theater Lovers. Jacksonville Theater? And it's theater? free. You just make a little profile. I think all it asks for is your email address. Um, and then, I, I don't know how familiar you are with meetup.com, but we are totally laid back. Like, some meetup groups, and they have meetup groups for everything, mm -hmm. like, if you like kayaking or hiking or going to brunch or whatever, um, some people are a little, like they track your attendance and stuff. We don't. I mean, you either want to come to a show or you don't. And we like to encourage people um, to come, even by themselves, and make new friends. Jacksonville Theater Lovers Group. Mm -hmm. And is that theater with the R-E or the E-R? E-R. We're okay. the E-R. All right. And so uh, you, we've got November coming up. Yes. And then December. Yes. What's happening at the... So in November, we have Celtic Thunder, which is the Irish supergroup, um, the all-male group. There's six of them. They sing some amazing Irish music. They blend. They always bring a new show. We bring these guys back year after year because they just do really well here. Our Irish community really supports it, and they come out for it. Uh, their newest show is called Mythology, and that is a great blend of Gaelic spirituality and just, you know, telling that old story. Celtic storytelling tradition in a really modern way. So they blend folk music and traditional Irish music and some contemporary stuff with some um, classical, you know, rock stuff. It, it's a really, really good show. The music is great. They have a little bit of dancing in there, um, the lighting and all of the scenery. I mean, it's just a really wonderful production. Yeah, Celtic productions have been really like kind of on the forefront of dance and blending, and it's a full evening, isn't it? Very dramatic. Oh, yeah. 
It is, and you know, I, I always say this because um, another example of we do bring a bunch of shows that appeal to different people. I didn't even know I really enjoyed Irish music and Irish, you know, these Irish shows. And the first time I saw um, Celtic Woman was the first one I saw, which we're also presenting in February, totally blew me away. I mean, it's such a fun, just uplifting, really, really, they're great shows. What so. night is that? Celtic Thunder is on Sunday, November 10th at 7 o'clock downtown at the Times Union. And then Celtic Woman's coming um, February 28th. And then how much is a ticket for Celtic Thunder? Celtic Thunder tickets start around $47. And then they go up, um, you know, the better seats I think are around 100 Awesome. awesome. But we do still have great seats available for that. Um, so for people who haven't gotten their tickets yet, there are plenty of great seats left. And then you have a second show in November. Yes, yeah, so um, Tango Fire Flames of Desire is presented by the Tango Fire Company of Buenos Aires. And uh, these, I, any dancer, I mean, we have such a big dance community here, so I love presenting these, these dance shows. We just had So You Think You Can Dance yeah. um, and Palabolus, so we're, we're really um, bringing a lot for the dancers in the community. But Tango Fire is just a really cool show uh, taking you through the journey of tango. And so it starts in those dance halls of, you know, Argentina, and then it kind of moves through the contemporary entertainment scene that, uh, you know, music, or excuse me, dancing has just blown up. I mean, everybody has gotten really into uh, all types of dancing, and especially in that contemporary way. These guys are featuring Argentina's newest generation of tango dancers, and there's five recent world tango champions in this cast. So wow. it's going to be a really high quality, high energy production. And all the dancers, whenever you guys have this, the it's as much fun to be in the audience as it is. Oh yeah, and, it's and, hard and, to stay still and watch these <coughs> dance shows. You're no like one does dancing in your seat. Yeah. Every time I'm there, people are up dancing in the aisles during yeah. the dance shows. Oh yeah. And do you, are you gonna? do the dancing beforehand this time as well? You know, I, I don't think so. I know we've done that in the past. Um, I don't think we have plans to do it this time, but um, it's going to be a really wonderful show. And that's on a Thursday night, uh, the 14th of November at the Times Union Center Moran Theater. And same thing, 47 up through 100. That one I think starts around 36. So 36. that one is a little bit lower of a price point. I'm dancing in my seat apparently too much over here. Um, but yeah, that one's going to be really fun. And then uh, what's happening in December as we're moving into the holidays? December, and um, I'm glad you said that because this is totally how I go holiday shopping. I just go through our list of shows and pick, you know, what I think friends will enjoy. Um, so always keep that in mind, too, for holiday gifts. We have a lot of stuff coming up through May, June. So um, definitely check out our calendar. But December... Really fun girls' night out show. All girls always need, you know, you don't really need an excuse to have a girls' night out, but we are presenting the original parody of um, Fifty Shades. So Fifty Shades the Musical. We presented a similar production last year called Spank, which was hilarious. Holy moly, it was hilarious. And um, this one is different. This one is a little bit on a, a grander scale. There is full musical numbers and a larger cast and original songs and uh, the... the the music is really, really good. It's very catchy. And where's this one at? That's at the Times Union Center. That's on a Monday night, December 9th. And then um, the day after that is the premiere of Flashdance the Musical, which is our first Broadway show in our Broadway series. We had Mamma Mia in October, and that was our season special. But Flashdance the Musical premieres on December 9th and runs for eight performances. And that one's going to be a ton of fun. We're really excited for that. Another, another fun dance show. <laughs> well, the stage uh, show is actually celebrating the 30th anniversary of the movie. So it's, it is very similar. I mean, the plot is pretty much the same. But it's such an electrifying dance Broadway musical. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anything else in December? We also have Christmas Carol. Yay. That's a really fun show for the whole family. Yeah, Christmas Carol is going to be really fun. Um, and that kind of rounds us out for the end of the year. What should people be looking at for the next year? Like, are there any mm -hmm. standout shows? Like, what are you looking forward to? I am absolutely head over heels obsessed with War Horse. War Horse is going to be incredible. Um, that's another one of our Broadway shows that's coming February 18th to the 23rd. Um, and all of our Broadways are downtown at the Times Union Center. But War Horse is just going to be incredible. Incredible. It um, won the best play in 2011 along with four other Tony Awards. So 
obviously is good. Um, and that one's going to be a lot of fun as well because War Horse uh, tells a story. It's pretty much the story of a boy and his horse, Joey, is the main character. And it takes place during the beginning of World War I, and it's told through the horse's perspective. Mm. And the great part about this show and what makes it such a unique Broadway show is the puppetry. It's incredible. They have three actors who um, are, are bringing two horses to life on stage. So um, it's just amazing, the, the video for the show. I mean, you really have to see it to believe it. Um, and the, the Broadway show is based off of a novel by Michael Marpurgo, and he actually has family here in Jacksonville, which is so exciting. Um, so we have a lot of fun stuff going on with that. And then Steven Spielberg made a movie based off of the Broadway show. So other Broadway shows are Blue Man Group in January 21st through the 26th. You really can't have a bad time at Blue Man Group. This is their first theatrical tour, so it is a little bit different than the sit down in Orlando or um, previous shows that we've presented. We presented it in the arena a few years ago. But this one still has a lot of the classic Blue Man Group moments, but they have some new stuff in there too for their first tour. And then um, we also have Memphis and Million Dollar Quartet as our last two Broadway shows of the season. I've seen Memphis. It's incredible, the singing and the dancing that that tells the story of, um, you know, based off of real events of a white radio DJ who falls in love with the voice of a black female club singer and he tries to get her music integrated into the radio and it's just a really, really cool story. And the Million Dollar Quartet is coming in April and that is Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins and Jerry Lee Lewis met for one night to do a recording session and it's kind of the unfolding of that story, so. Oh, wow. Sounds like a great season. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to the. I love Irish dancing and singing and yes. storytelling. So thank you so much for all yes. the work you guys do. And thanks for coming. And hopefully you're going to be, like, regular with us. Absolutely. You know? Well, I, I can talk anybody's ear off about all of our shows. So, yes. Oh, I'm always happy to come on and talk about them. We're going to be doing, um, uh, in the future, uh, weekly updates with Google Chats on what's happening at the Artist Series and at the Symphony and some of the other uh, theaters around town. And, of course, the Artist Series is one of the greatest assets that we have going in the community. Check it out. If you haven't bought tickets, you can get season tickets. Join the meetup group at Jacksonville Theater Lovers. And uh, they also have a Facebook page you should join and follow. They uh, give really cool updates on like what's coming up with the shows. And this is Stephen Dare, joined by Sarah Roy, MetroJacksonville.com. Thank you for joining us.